We are less than a month away from the start of trout season. It's a sure sign that spring is on the way. And today, the Fish and Boat Commission helped stock a creek in the Poconos. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustis shows us the Pennsylvania tradition for many. We'll see how big they are. Buckets filled with trout were carried to the banks along McMichael's Creek near Stroudsburg and set loose. Dozens of volunteers came out to lend a hand to help the Fish and Boat Commission. 81 year old Ronald Gouger was one of them. He started stocking trout when he was just 13 years old and has been doing it ever since. I started stocking again last fall because of the pandemic. I had shut down on it and uh, yeah, I went back to fishing 100% of the time instead of 90% stocking and uh, <laughs> to 10% fishing. Yeah, so we're doing great now. Like last year, there is now only one opening day of trout season instead of splitting up northern and southern Pennsylvania opening days. The change happened two years ago when the coronavirus pandemic happened. Officials say everything went smoothly last year, so they kept it the same. They worked out. It was easier on us for you know stocking purposes. It's easier on us to have just one solid opening day. For many, stocking trout is a tradition. I enjoy doing it and I and, I, and they can use the help. I mean, it makes it easier for them to spread the fish out and not have them all in one spot. You know what I mean? So that's a big part of it. And plus to see the guys and you hang out and stuff like that. Anglers like Ron Taylor of Cresco have helped for decades. He said it's truly a great experience and wants everyone to give it a try. I encourage my friends and most you see mostly older gentlemen because we can have the time to do it. If you're working, you can't be here. You know what I mean? And it's nice. To, you know, The kids, when they do Saturday stockings is nice because then the kids get to see and it's kind of fun. Trout season open state wide on April 1st. Amanda Eustis, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.